So the Oklahoma Tax Commission has been around since 1931. Uh, the mission of the Oklahoma Tax Commission is to serve the people of Oklahoma by promoting tax compliance through quality service and fair administration. That's a fancy way of saying our job is to make sure that we collect taxes and do it where we treat everybody equally regardless of who they are and try to make them feel good about it at the end of the day. The Tax Commission is headed by three commissioners. These commissioners are appointed by the governor and they're confirmed by the Senate. The job of a commissioner is to oversee the general direction of the agency and then also adjudicate specific tax disputes. If a taxpayer has a problem that they need to get a resolution, they come to the commission and ask the commission oftentimes to make a ruling. So the long and short of it is I act as a judge in some capacities, but I'm also in charge of the general direction of how the agency is going. One of the things about um, the employees at the Tax Commission is that they're not there for the, for the glory and the high dollars. Um, being an employee of the Tax Commission, as you can imagine, is not the most popular job you can have. It's, it's also very grueling hours in some regards, and for some folks, it's not a lot of money compared to what they could make in the private sector. But what every one of our employees has is they have a dedication to serve. They have a public service mentality, and they have this mindset of service that is exemplified in everything they do. One of the things that I would tell students that are wanting to apply for a job, not just at the tax commission, but with any type of state government agency is, is you need to show how you set yourself apart from your peers. And it's not just putting on that you have a, a degree in what your GPA and what your major was from your university. What I would tell you is show how you stand apart. And the best way to stand apart in my mind is to show that you're willing to own it, that you have taken ownership of a project, of, of uh, leadership in an organization, that you've taken some type of a role of responsibility that says that you can be depended upon to get the job done, that you're not just gonna sit around on the sidelines and say, well, that's not in my job description. If you see something that needs to be done, you're gonna be the first person to volunteer to go in, figure out a solution, implement it, and get it fixed. Well, obviously one of the things that we're gonna look at is we're gonna look at what else were you involved in? What did you do? Did you just go to class and just tick the check marks to get a degree? Or did you do something over and above that? Were you engaged in campus community? Did you have a job while you worked? What did you do that shows real life, real world experience that you can bring to the job as well? When I looked at the tenants and just reviewed them, I mean, the ones that uh, just jumped off the page to me, there were uh, leadership, obviously, is one that for me is something that's very important. But so is the civic engagement part. Uh, we, we have a lot of people who have leadership qualities that if they don't also have that civic engagement mindset, they're going to be great leaders and they're going to make a lot of money for themselves. But what I need at the Tax Commission, what we really need in the state of Oklahoma is we need people who want to serve. We need people who have this, almost this mindset of a calling to do for other people and give their leadership gifts to serve other people. That's what I'm looking for in an employee at the Tax Commission and within state government. Well, one of the first things that I need to see in, in my staff before I'm willing or wanting to promote them to the next level is, is I want to see that, first off, they have competence, that they know the rules backwards and forwards. They know how it works. They can take it apart, put it back together. They know it inside and out. They have got competence like you wouldn't believe. That's the first thing. If there's not competence, then we can't go to the next step. But I need more than competence. I need someone who also can take a look at it and say, well, I know that's how we've done it for the last 20 years, but we can do it differently. We can do it better. Here's how we could harness this new technology or this new idea and use it to do a better job with what we've been given. I need somebody who understands the process, 
but also can help me figure out how to do it better. One of the things I would say is that you need to be able to demonstrate that you're willing and able to take the initiative to do something. It's very easy just to go to class and do nothing else. If you actually do something more than that, that shows initiative. One of the things about Stellar is it shows initiative. It shows that you have the initiative to try to improve on what you're getting in the collegiate experience, that you're trying to do more, and that demonstrates at least that quality and that character trait. But I think you need more than just that initiative. You need to have follow through. You need to have demonstrated um, emotional intelligence that you can stay the course, that you can uh, tackle tough issues when they arise, that you don't just want to give up. Uh, so find those opportunities you have to grow, and instead of shying away from them, tackle them head on. That'll show initiative and also show a maturity that you're willing to do things as an employee to get the job done.